So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a MATLAB script I've developed, which will calculate the angular position, velocity, and acceleration of a pendulum as a function of time, as well as the tension in the pendulum cable. And it will also generate a little animation here of the pendulum uh, swinging in space. So let's take a look at all the MATLAB code to uh, generate this. But before we do that, I think it would be good to take a look at the equations of motion for a pendulum. That way we had kind of have a basis for how we're making this MATLAB code. So if we're given a simple pendulum and asked to find the equations of motion and the tension in the rod, we have to make a couple of assumptions first. The first is that our rod is massless and that the bob here is a point mass. This allows us to use uh, simple particle dynamics rather than rigid body dynamics and it makes the entire process a lot simpler. So if we start here with our system with gravity pointing downwards and our uh, angular displacement theta given a mass m at a distance l from its pivot point o, we can create the following free body diagram here. And using Newton's second law with normal and tangential coordinates, if we sum the forces in the normal direction, we have the tension and then opposing it is mg times the cosine of theta. This is equal to the mass times the normal acceleration as we know from dynamics, that's equal to uh, the length or your radius of curvature times your angular velocity squared. We can solve this for the tension and this will give us uh, the force in this uh, rod. Then if we take a look at the forces in the tangential direction, uh, we have negative mg sine theta if uh, this is our positive tangential direction here. And then we have um, mass times the acceleration in the tangential direction once again, from dynamics, this is the radius of curvature. In our sense, it's the length of the pendulum times the angular acceleration, alpha. Rearranging this, we get alpha as a function of uh, theta. So then if we let omega equal theta dot and alpha equal theta double dot, uh, we can get this equation, uh, which is the same as this, just substitution of variables. This is more traditional in differential equations to get all of your variables uh, kind of the same the same letter and then you have dots denoting your derivatives So this will give us this is the equation of motion for a pendulum without any damping however uh, In real life, we know that there's a frictional term that uh, damps the motion out over time So we're going to add a viscous damping term here C times theta dot. So it's proportional to the velocity um, This is kind of an arbitrary addition here um, but it does work and it does damp out your motion over time. Uh, C is our damping coefficient and you can arbitrarily choose that value. So this gives us our equation of motion here. Um, and then here we have the tension in the uh, cable or the uh, massless rod. So this gives us all the information we need. Um, this is obviously a second order uh, ordinary differential equation. We cannot solve it by hand, um, but we will use Euler's method to do so. Um, you can use MATLAB functions such as the ODE45. However, I think Euler's method is a little bit more elegant and it's definitely simpler and easier to implement. Um, so if we go here in MATLAB, we have our pendulum motion script. Um, we start out defining our uh, different parameters here. So we have the mass of the bob is just one kilogram. The length is two meters, gravity, a simulation time of 10 seconds. This is that damping coefficient I was talking about. Um, I set that at 0.25 because it gives a good level of damping uh, that I believe is uh, good just to demonstrate the code, but you can set this to whatever you want. A time step of 0.01 seconds. And then here we do a little bit of calculations uh, to get our total number of iterations. We pre-allocate a couple of our arrays here for the iterative process. Uh, then we set our initial conditions. So this pendulum is going to start with uh, the uh, the bob or the ball of the pendulum horizontal and it's going to swing down with uh, no initial angular velocity or acceleration. So this is basically a pendulum at rest uh, suspended that will be released and it will swing back and forth. Here we have a for loop. Um, we go from n equals 1 to our total number of iterations and we iteratively solve for our angular position, velocity, and acceleration using Euler's method. So our new theta is our old theta 
plus our old omega times our time step. And then our new angular velocity is the old plus the old angular acceleration times the time step. And then here, this is our equation of motion that we derived um, from the uh, PDF over there. And then here again, we calculate our tension in the rod, and that is just from the equation we have right here. Um, so we do this as an iterative process and save all the results in several arrays. Uh, actually, these four are arrays right here. Then we go ahead and plot them. Um, there's not much to say about this, just standard MATLAB plotting. We can go ahead and run this, and uh, if we do, we get our angular quantities as a function of time in the first plot. You can see our position starts out at 90 degrees and then slowly uh, converges towards zero with a little bit of damping uh, due to that damping term we added in. Our uh, angular velocity and acceleration are in radians per second and radians per second squared. You can see that uh, when our position has a zero rate of change, our angular velocity is zero. And when our angular velocity has a zero rate of change, our angular acceleration is zero. This is as expected as uh, velocity is the derivative of position and acceleration is the derivative of velocity. So these results make sense to me as I look at them. Um, our second figure here is the tension in the pendulum rod as a function of time. The black line represents uh, just the mass times gravity. So in this case, 9.81 Newtons. Uh, and then this is the tension that is in that rod and it converges towards the black line. Uh, you'll see it converges a little above that. I believe that is due to uh, the acceleration causing an additional weight, and then uh, it will eventually actually converge to this. Um, and on the bottom of each of these, our x-axis is just the iteration. If you divide this by 10, you get your time. So this is 10 seconds, this is zero seconds, five seconds, etc. Uh, pretty self-explanatory there. So this is the first script I've developed. And this just gives you your results as a function of time, um, no animations or anything like that. I have a second script here, which is pretty much the same. However, it will uh, create an animation of the entire uh, process here. So consequently, it doesn't need to calculate the tension in the rod or any of that stuff. It just solves the equations of motion using Euler's method and then plots everything for a nice little video. And this is the result it gives you. As you can see, the pendulum is uh, slowly damped out and it won't completely stop because the video is not long enough uh, for that, but you can definitely see the damping there as it converges. So anyways, uh, I believe that's all I have here. Um, I will post both codes, the one that gives you the graphical results of the position and velocity um, and the tension in the cable, as well as the animated code right here that gives you uh, the animation that all will be in the description as well as the equations of motion here if you would like to take a look at those so anyways thanks for watching and i'll catch y'all next time